Yeah, uh, let's get right on to number one. <laughs> I really, I really do have to. I, I will stop. One day, I will. Hey guys, what is up? Awesome the Sauce here, and welcome to another top five video. <laughs> I apologize for that. Oh, uh, <laughs> this one is a very, very special video because I've been wanting to do it for a while, just never got around to it. So, as far as item cards in this game have gone, there are very, very few that have become real spells. Now, if you're wondering uh, which ones even have become real spells, all you gotta do is look no further than the Wayfinder helmet. Now, the Wayfinder helmet was one of the best hats in the game uh, a long time ago. But mainly because it gave the Ninja Pigs card. And back then, Ninja Pigs was not a spell that anyone could have. But now, after a lot of uh, people wanted it, now Ninja Pigs is a trainable spell. Whether it's a drop from Lore Master, whether it's a drop from Kodo, or whether it's even crafted. Uh, it can even be dropped from packs now. So, this is one of those examples of a card that started off as an item card that happened to be in the game. And right now, Ninja Pigs is one of the most used spells for myth wizards, especially at low level. So this is my two cents, or should I say five cents, because it's top five. <laughs> I'll stop. Ugh, I really have to. <laughs> but this is my five cents on my nickel, uh, on uh, what spells that should be made into the real game out of item cards that exist right now. So let's get right into it, my dudes. All right, number five. Number five, all you gotta do is look a little bit farther than, th than the regular Ninja Pigs. And then you're at the Death Ninja Pigs. Now, Death Ninja Pigs is one of the most used spells in some of the lower worlds, especially in the first arc. A lot of, lot of enemies use this, and it's really, really annoying. Now, if you're wondering why this is even on the list, it's because a lot, and I mean a lot, of schools have a hit and weakness type attack. Now, when we're talking about balance, you got Lore Master, uh, a free for fire. We have, um, I mean, ice at least it has a hit and shield. Now, you can argue that, um, you know, like death does have some kind of evasive maneuver. Like it has um, the the six pip shadow spell. Uh, not on, I don't have it on this character, but the, the the six pip shadow spell does hit and it does leave a weakness. But that's the only thing that they really have to hit and also weaken. Now. When we're talking about Myth, they have Medusa. When we're talking, you know, every school has some kind of hit and stun or hit and weakness. Now, that's really, really important because it helps to stall, helps to achieve a lot of things at once. Now, definitely, 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 Death doesn't have that. So this would be a really, really, really awesome way to balance out the game, in my opinion. Now, for six pips, it's not that much damage. So either I would, um, I would lower the pip cost. I would, I would raise the damage, maybe I would add a uh, minus 50% infection. I'd do something to jazz it up, make it a little bit different, but I would definitely have the weakness. You know, the weakness is really, really important, and I think that it would help the, it would help the balance of max level PvP and death PvP in general if we had death ninja pigs added to the mix. Now, let's get on to number four. Now, life does not have what I would really consider a, a viable attack all. Now, what, what am I talking about? I'm talking about AoE. Now, those are really, really important, especially when you're questing. So, what I'm talking about really, when, you know, when we're talking about AoEs, we're talking about 4-pip spells. Sometimes they're X-pip. Sometimes they're 5-pip in, in the case of Death Wizards. All of that is fine, but life does not have a really solid AoE. Now, it does have the, the, um, it does have the spell where... It does an overtime for six pips, and that's like the exact same as five pips. You have to wait the same number of rounds. However, however, my dudes, it does not have a four pip. Now, King's Isle did something really, really cool, and they added this pet, and it gives a card that's basically like a life version of Sandstorm, and it actually doesn't do, it's not too shabby, you know, like, it's kind of hard to see though, but, um, uh, here, let me see if we can, um, see it over here. Yeah, 345 to five, uh, 405 for four pips. It's not a bad card as it is, but I would definitely want to have more than one of these in my uh, side deck, no, or, or in my main deck anyways. I think 
there's a lot of opportunity to make this a real spell. And it would solve a lot of problems that life has when it comes to questing alone. I mean, the four pip shadow spells right now are really, really good. Don't get me wrong. But the more enemies that you face, the less useful it gets. So I would definitely keep uh, Leaf Storm as a viable way of attacking as many uh, opponents as possible. I want King's Isle to get on this one as fast as possible because life is really, really behind when it comes to this kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, Leaf Storm. <laughs> Now, number three has an item card that only exists right now on jewels. Now, what I'm talking about right now, right? This is some of the most OP cards in the game right now. And I really love what King's Isle did with them. I just think that they're not used at all by most people because of the, the, the huge pip cost, definitely. It's massive, bro. So, uh, we're talking about this one right here. Now... If you guys have never seen the spell, I don't even blame you. It's uh, only in jewel form right now. But basically, all the Mount Olympus gods have a jewel that goes with them. So Poseidon has this really awesome one that steals um, a shield and then hits. Really, really awesome mechanic, if you ask me. Um, a lot of other spells are available. You know, there's a Hades one that does an overtime that only it basically detonates on the third round kind of it's really it's kind of cool my problem with them as a regular spell more than anything is that they're nine pips and they really don't do a lot for nine pips so i would probably put down the pip cost to eight pips instead of nine like you know just minus one it's not that big of a deal and probably uh maintain the mechanics i definitely think that would change the game a little bit uh, I wouldn't make them craftable spells, definitely. I'd make them dropped from the Tartarus battle. That would be really, really cool. Uh, uh, a lot of people would farm it, and I think, like, for the, for the abilities that they have, it would, t it would be totally worth the effort for some people. Um, so that's just my two cents on how they should introduce the cards. I definitely think that they are some of the most underrated cards in the entire game. Like, straight up, dude. Like, I, I, I want to see more people use this in pvp and it, it, i don't know if it has a level restriction on it I, I don't remember if it does but all i know is that a triangle jewel is very very important no one's gonna want to have a triangle jewel filled up with uh, a random item card when they can have accuracy or pip chance so i mean sometimes in lower levels that might not apply but definitely at higher levels where most people would use this they're not going to use a triangle slot so i think the only way anyone would want to use this is if it was a regular spell. So, I, I want to see this, my man. I want to see the muscles displayed. I want to see the mechanics used. You know, I, want, I, 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 I want to see the Wrath of Poseidon all over me. I, 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 I want it a lot. A lot. <laughs> but, <coughs> um, yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> this is one of those spells that I really want added to the game. Uh, I don't know how, but that's my suggestion. Make it a farmed spell. In Tartarus, uh, let's go to number two. Now, what I'm about to tell you next is not just one spell, uh, and they're not technically only item cards. Most of them are, but they're all found on various items and equipment sets. But what I'm talking about right now is more of a set of cards. Now, what I'm talking about are hit and buffs. Now, hit and buffs, uh, <laughs> that's kind of my term for them. Like, obviously, anyone can refer to them differently. But what I'm talking about are spells like Brown Spider, uh, spells like Fire Beetle, if I have it. Do I have it? I don't even have Fire Beetles, bro. But yeah, spells like Fire Beetle, spells like Punk Clops, maybe, uh, spells like Rat Illusionist. There's a ton of them in this game right now. Death Scarab, Midnight Sprite. Every school has some way of hitting and trapping. At the moment but the problem is they're all uh they're all minimally av uh, available so like you have to go to the bazaar to get them or you have to find them on some random piece of equipment the way i see it it's not as accessible to some people who just want to use them and like they don't some people don't have the time to farm the bazaar you know what i'm talking about so the way i would introduce them to the game is make the damage really low because if, if, if you can enchant them you don't want the damage to be super high. So what I'm talking about, right? Like Brown Spider, for example. I would not want a spell like Brown Spider to be in the game if it actually does 215 for, for 3 pips. And it also adds a bubble. Because that would be spammable. Think about it. Like someone could just 
straight up spam it. I, w I would definitely lower the damage down to the hundreds rather than the two hundreds for any kind of hit and buff and introduce them to a lot of the schools. Now, I've heard this idea a lot, but a lot of people want this kind of spell to be available from Wisteria. And I think it's kind of a cool idea. I mean, why not uh, have a special quest in Wisteria and then all the professors there can make you learn some kind of new spell like brown spider, uh, ice bird, fire beetle. Just make me, like, it's really, really important to jack down the damage a little bit because especially spells like, I don't know, like ice bird. I would not want ice bird to be in the game as a regular spell as it is because 270 damage is a lot. Um, so yeah, I mean, definitely the damage would have to be nerfed a little bit, but the, the effects, the, that's what I want to talk about. The effects are really awesome. Uh, so I, I want that as a regular spell. You know, I, I would love to enchant them with accuracy sometimes, you know, just so you can have a really solid hit and also have a blade and you won't be able to fizzle it. There are all kinds of possibilities within, with strategies like that. Uh, and make them available to low levels because low levels would want them just as much as high levels. I think that's a solid solution to not want it. Like, I can't even find ice birds anymore, bro. Like, this is like, <laughs> if I sold this right now, these two would be the only ice birds in the entire bazaar. Like, it's crazy, bro. We, we, we kind of want them now, right? Like, I, I think most people in Wizard agree that it wouldn't really break the game as long as the damage isn't too high. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's get right on to number one. <laughs> I really, I really do have to, I, I will stop, one day, I will. Now, this is the one card that I actually don't have on any of my wizards, but it had so much hype, bro, so much hype back when, back in the day, so I thought, why not, you know, why not just talk about it in this video, it's number one for a reason, because it got a ton of hype back in, the, basically, last summer, you know, 2016, it got a ton of hype. So the spell that I'm talking about right now is the Headless Horseman. Now, I'm gonna, in the description below, I'm gonna leave a link. Uh, I was actually the first one to post it on YouTube, that spell. Uh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Just self-promoting, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, but, um, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, shameless self-promotion. But, but it was one of the coolest spells to ever get put in the game, and a lot of people thought it would change death PvP forever. Because it was a ton of damage for four pips. However, what ended up happening was it ended up being just an item card. And every death that had a massive heart on for that spell got real disappointed. So, I would definitely nerf it for that much. But, like, it, it, it's insane amount of damage for four pips. But, what I would do is make it into a spell anyways. And death needs a four pip spell that it can spam. Poison is not spammable. Uh... You know, every other school has a spammable spell. Whether 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 they're good or not, they do have a spammable spell. You know, Myth has Keeper of the Flame, uh, Brim for Fire, Life has Luminous, Lore obviously. Uh, you know, I mean, I guess Ice doesn't really, but I don't know. No one's complaining about Ice, bro. No, ice can sit down. That's what they can do. But <laughs> um, yeah, I think Death is definitely overlooked when it comes to utility-based spells. So, I would definitely give them the help that they want, that they deserve in 1v1, and, and introduce Headless Horseman. I don't know how, maybe a special drop, maybe a special boss, maybe a craftable. I don't know, maybe nerf the damage a little bit, but it was plain damage. It was, like, it was nothing. So, honestly, it wasn't even that overpowered. If there's no secondary effect to it, yeah, it should be doing a lot. That's why Ninja Pigs does a lot. Uh, if there's an accuracy debuff to it, I'd understand that, just like a Ninja Pigs. I don't know. I would definitely make it into the game because a lot of people got hype about it. It's kind of stupid to add all that hype and just not do anything. I mean, I know it, was a it, it wasn't really, like, King's Isle wasn't the one who put it out for everyone to see and build the hype. But I still want the hype to be, um, to, 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 to be like, you know, validated. I, I, I don't know if that word was used properly at all. Look into my eyes and just forget that I said it if I did it incorrectly. I don't know. <sighs> if someone hasn't told you an awesome day, they're doing something wrong. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support on all these videos. That was my top five. Tell me what you guys think in the description, in, uh, below the description, in the comments below. I would love to know what your opinions are on the topic. If someone, I, have, I already did the intro, so uh, stay awesome, bro. Tell me your opinions. Start a discussion. 
النعيم 